Guys, I'm not sure exactly what happened to the first part of this video. Somehow I don't have uh, the video. It got deleted or something like that. But I just wanted to let you know um, so what I did here was I made a mold. And I just took some scrap pieces of walnut and laid them in there. And then we used our P7040 toucan pigment. Obviously, you see the one that changes from purple to green, if you can see that. Um, and I mixed that in and poured it into the mold to make one long board. And so I'm sorry that I don't have that video. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I do have a clip of it still in the mold, um, but I don't have any of it uh, cutting it up. So if you would, please just stay, stay with me. We do have a lot of good content left in the video. So just do me a favor and continue watching. It's gonna be pretty cool. All right, guys, I wanted to share something really quickly. Um, so we're back in my shop and um, I was cutting some of the sides for the ring box, but it was looking a little bit sketchy. <laughs> And I didn't want you guys to pick up any bad habits or any kind of um, anything like that. So I cut out the part of cutting the sides for the ring box. Uh, and I'm just going to skip forward to gluing it up. Um, in other news, you guys are going to see me in the future videos kind of jumping back and forth between where I work and my home shop. And that's because now that we have uh, a baby that we adopted, you know, my time is... Um, I want to spend more of my time with my family. So I take the time that I can to post videos for you guys. Um, so you'll see me jump back and forth. But anyway, we will be back in my old, uh, my old workshop at my house. Um, so, so, uh, just make sure that you continue to watch the videos and, um, continue to subscribe and like and comment and do all those things. Uh, just want to let you know, that's why it's a different background here and there. So without further ado, Let's get to gluing these sides for the ring box. Okay, check that out. You can see how it changes colors, so cool. Anyway, now that we got all the sides. That's gonna be the top, but we're gonna go ahead and get some painter's tape. We're gonna lay it out. So we're gonna use some Gorilla Glue and a damp paper towel to wipe the uh, seams here. So let's do that first. It says lightly dampen. So what we're gonna do. Okay, let's get this taped up.
All right, we're gonna let that dry. We're gonna let that set up. The bottle says, uh, clamp it together for two hours. Um, fuel full cure is in 24 hours, but we'll clamp it together for two hours and come back here and true it up. All right guys, the next step is, now that we have our the sides of our box made, we're gonna take the top and the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead and glue those on and make one solid cube. And then I'll take it to the table saw and we'll cut the cube off, excuse me, cut the top of the cube off. That way when the lid shuts, all the grain will match up. So it'll be kind of cool. It'll look like the top will be resin but then it won't be so it's going to be a little bit of an illusion it's going to look kind of cool here we go I glued the top and the bottom onto the box the same way that I did the sides uh, and now I got some clamps clamping it up all right you see got it all clamped up now it's all clamped up we're gonna wait for it to dry we'll wait for it overnight and then we'll come by put it on the table saw and get this thing trued up sanded and put some finish on it it's gonna look really nice all right y'all we're back in the shop it's the next morning we're gonna go ahead and take this out of the clamp and start finishing this box oh, i glued it to the table Right. We have our box. Let's take it over to the table saw and true this thing up. All right, got some 220 grit sandpaper. Go ahead and get to sanding. Oh, got all the holes covered up.
All right, we're gonna take a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a rag. Actually, this is an old sock. We're gonna go ahead and wipe this box down and get it prepped for some sanding sealer. All right, we'll take a few seconds to let that dry. And then <clears throat> we're gonna be using some uh, Minwax sanding sealer and we'll apply sanding sealer. That way we can coat it in one hour. So once we uh, apply the sanding sealer, we'll let it sit for an hour and then we'll put some like gloss poly on top of it. Kind of make it shine and last for a little while. Um, once we do the sanding sealer, We'll cut the lid off to make the lid and um, and then we'll coat, we'll do a little sanding sealer around the edges and then uh, we'll get to finishing this thing. All right, we'll go ahead and let that sit for an hour and then we'll sand it to with 320 grit. Then we'll use some gloss poly and shine that joker up. We're almost there. All right, we're back and the sanding sealer has dried on the box. And it's really cool that it raised the grain. And what that means, you can feel it, it's kind of rough when you feel it. So uh, that's how you know that you got that it did what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to feel a little bit rough. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna knock down that roughness with some 320 grit sandpaper. But before we do that, we're gonna take it over this over to the bandsaw and we'll cut the lid off. Um, and the reason why we wanna use the bandsaw is so that um, it makes a thin kerf and that the grain will line back up. So let's do that. All right, we got our 320 grit sandpaper and let's start scuffing this thing up. All right, let's go put some finish on them bad boys. Use some fast drying polyurethane gloss.
Guys, we are finished. It looks so awesome. I know my cousin's gonna like it. If you wanna get some pigments like these, go over to goodviewwoodworks.com, click the epoxy tab, and you can find all the pigments there that we have. This was such a fun project. I know my cousin's gonna like this ring box. You can find all of the tools and supplies down in the description. I'll link them all down there so you guys can click it and get it. As always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah.